every step forward, it seems like we, we have those steps back. I just want you to imagine your loved one's headstone looking like this, toppled over. Well, that's the reality for some in Northern York, where a historical black cemetery was vandalized overnight. And this is not the first time. Thank you for joining us tonight at 11. I'm TJ Anthony. The property where more than 300 black veterans are now buried, now faced with a large task just before Memorial Day. CBS 21's Maxine Rose was at the cemetery earlier today. She tells us how this has left a mark on the community. A volunteer crew on site here at the Lebanon Cemetery. You can hear them behind me now just working away, trying to get everything back to its normal state. Now it's important to know they were scheduled to be here, but it wasn't until the Lebanon Cemetery Company's treasurer was doing his regular sweep when he found just about nine headstones overturned. I used to just walk through the cemetery to see what's going on. It hurt me to my heart. For some right here in York, the Lebanon Cemetery holds their ancestors. We also have underground railroad conductors. We have abolitionists. We have individuals who were formerly enslaved. I have six generations here also. I'm just trying to get through it. The president of the Lebanon Cemetery Company says this is the second time this has happened in under a year. However, it's a problem that has also costed several other cemeteries in the area. On top of the millions of dollars they often spend toward regular upkeep. I do not think that this was something that happened because we are a historic black cemetery. A lot of time the kids will ride um, dirt bikes up through. Luckily, a national veteran led organization called Team Rubicon offers their help to communities just like this one for free. I have friends that are buried in this cemetery to work in my own community, you know, to do something worthwhile. I mean, that's that's pretty exciting to me. I was able to reach out to friends and, and family members. People are angry. People are sad. We just try to work with the community the best that we can and I uh, hope that the community will work with us. With plenty of work still left to be done, a group of Boy Scouts are set to come on Monday to help clean up just ahead of Memorial Day weekend. This is now turned into a teaching moment so that the, the young people, the future generation, understand what damage like this does. Now, no one from the Northern York Police Department was available to speak with us today, but the cemetery does remind neighbors that if you see something, say something. They're also calling on the community to help them get back on their feet. So for more information on how you can donate at home, you can go to our website at CBS21.com. In York, Maxine Rose, CBS 21 News.